Hello, welcome to our Software Ideas Modeler tutorial series. Today, we'll be diving into how to create a Chen Entity Relationship Diagram for a Simple Content Management System, or CMS. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, this guide will walk you through each step in detail. Let's start by creating a new diagram. Navigate to the Project tab in the ribbon and click on the first button, Add New Diagram. In the dialog that appears, find and select the Entity Relationship category from the left menu. Then choose Chen Entity Relationship Diagram from the list on the right. Now type Simple CMS into the name box and hit the OK button. With our canvas ready, let's begin by placing the entities identified for our CMS. From the toolbox, grab the Entity tool Click and drag from the Entity tool onto the canvas. When the text box appears, type Page. Repeat this process to create two more entities, Category and Author. For our next entity, Chapter, which is a weak entity dependent on Page, use the Weak Entity tool. Drag it onto the canvas and name it Chapter. Now let's establish a weak relationship between the Page and Chapter entities. We will use the Weak Relationship element. It is specifically designated for relationships where one entity's existence is dependent on another. In our model, chapter cannot exist without being associated with a page, making it a perfect candidate for a weak relationship. Drag the weak relationship tool from the toolbox to the canvas between the page and chapter entities. As you release the mouse, a new element will appear. Name this relationship, Contains. Now, let's define the participations. First, let's address the participation of page in the contains relationship. Locate the participation tool in the toolbox. Click on the participation tool, then drag from page to the contains relationship element. This action draws a connector. By doing this, we are indicating that the presence of chapter is optional for page. In other words, a page might not contain any chapter, but if a chapter exists, it must be linked to a page. Next, we need to set total participation for the chapter side of the contains relationship. Select the total participation tool from the toolbox. Drag from the contains relationship element to the chapter entity. This emphasizes that every chapter must always be associated with a page. An easier way to add a relationship is by selecting two entities like page and author and clicking the create relationship button in the context bar. Name this relationship authorship. Similarly, select Page and Category and hit the Create Associative Entity button. Name the resulting associative entity Page Category. This entity will combine and manage the primary keys of both elements and include its own attributes. Let's define attributes starting with Chapter. Click on the Add Attribute button in the context bar for Chapter and add Order Index, Title, and Content. Mark Order Index as a weak key by right-clicking it and selecting Weak Key from the context menu. Order Index is a weak key because it helps to uniquely identify chapter entries in combination with its link to page. A weak key by itself does not guarantee uniqueness unless paired with the primary key of the entity it depends on. For the page entity, right-click the Attribute button in the toolbox, select Add Multiple with Default Size from the context menu, and draw an area on the canvas. Type Page ID, Title, Creation Date, and days since published. Connect these to page using the Attribute Connector tool. Select the Page ID attribute by clicking on it. Then, right-click to open the context menu. From this menu, choose Key to set it as a key attribute. This action marks Page ID as the primary key. Next, let's handle the Days Since Published attribute. This attribute is interesting because it doesn't need to be stored directly. Instead, it can be derived from another attribute, creation date. To mark days since published as a derived attribute, right-click on it to bring up the context menu. Select Derived from the options. This visually distinguishes it on our diagram and indicates that its value is calculated based on the creation date without needing separate storage. Now, let's add an attribute to the page category associative entity. This attribute, named Priority, will reflect the importance or ranking of pages within each category. To add this attribute, select the Page Category entity on your diagram. Then, click on the Add Attribute button from the context bar. Type Priority as the attribute name. This attribute is particularly useful for sorting or prioritizing pages when multiple pages are associated with a single category. 
it could dictate display order or access level within the CMS. Now let's focus on the category entity. First, we'll add a key attribute to our category entity. From the toolbox, select the key attribute tool. Click and drag it to the canvas, placing it near the category entity. Let's name this attribute category ID. This category ID serves as the primary identifier for each category, essential for distinguishing each record uniquely within our database. To connect this attribute to the category entity, we'll use the attribute connector tool from the toolbox. Click on the attribute connector, then click and drag from the category ID attribute to the category entity. Next, we add a multi-value attribute. Multi-value attributes are useful for storing sets of values in a single attribute. Let's use the multi-value attribute tool for our next attribute named tags. This attribute will allow us to store an array of tag values associated with each category. After confirming the name, we'll again use the attribute connector tool to link this attribute to the category entity. Finally, specify the relationship multiplicities. Set category and page as M to N, page to chapter, as one to N, and page to author as N to one. And there you have it, your Chen ERD for a simple CMS is ready. This tutorial should help you efficiently model your data structures using Software Ideas Modeler. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and happy diagramming.